In this clip, we're showing how the simulated ocular surgery basic FACO eyes uh, can be used to practice sculpting of the nucleus and hydrodissection. Here we can see hydrodissection being carried out, and quite frequently you can see a little wave of uh, fluid at the periphery of the capsular axis, but you don't see the fluid passing around the back of the lens as you would in a human eye. Again, our trainees have uh, practiced both their hydrodissection and hydrodelineation skills on the IC, uh, and this just lets them reenact those maneuvers in a more lifelike scenario. When it comes to phaco emulsification, the principles they've learned on the IC of creating a nice steep sided uh, groove, maintaining the eye in the primary position without pushing the lens, letting the phaco. Uh, probe, do the work, are all enforced with this uh, mode of training. This is a soft gel eye and you can see as the probe passes through it we're getting a nice steep walled trench. Sometimes you have to use just slightly higher vacuums than you would use in your normal sculpt mode to remove the nuclear uh, material. And as you get deeper, although there's no posterior capsule, you can see that lightling of the, the reflex, which uh, lets the trainee know when they've got to the correct depth. So again, just going down the back slope to create a nice uniform rectangular profile of the uh, initial groove. Here we can see the second instrument being introduced via the, the side port and this is going to be used to rotate uh, the nucleus. With the soft gel eyes the lens material is uh, relatively uh, soft and so the second instrument just slides into the lens material a little bit more than it would in a human eye. And this is less of a problem with the uh, white harder uh, basic FACO eyes. So again the same principles of creating a nice divide and conquer type formation before rotating the lens around. Here's another eye, different coloured iris, same consistency of lens, again just practicing the sculpting technique, getting a nice groove, getting into a rhythm uh, with the efficient use of the FACO probe, letting the probe cut through the lens rather than pushing through the lens, and keeping the probe uh, the depth of the groove rather about one and a half probe widths. Just using my finger there just to uh, clear the view. Again, second instrument being introduced, this time a uh, mushroom a manipulator and using it to rotate the lens. You can see how it's you know, relatively soft but it still rotates and it gets uh, the trainees to practice uh, in a different environment what they've learnt on the IC. Using that two-handed technique to manipulate the lens without putting excessive pressure on the lens zonules. And just rotating again to complete the final bit of sculpting before the nucleus is cracked. And finally just completing the fourth uh, groove again avoiding the anterior uh, edge of the, the rexus before dividing the nucleus into quadrants.